who also happened to be a fencing instructor. Um, he was our nice new marshal, and he was being very formal about everything. And they were doing one of these contests where you basically stood in line, and whoever came to the front of the line, those are the two who would fight. Well, there were two fighters in particular who seemed to be fond of fighting with Glaive. Uh, one of them was, at the time, our only fighter, uh, which was Mikhail, at least until he made armor for his wife, Lady Jean, and then we had two, hmm. until she got pregnant and wouldn't fit the armor anymore, which you said was a bummer. Anyway, um, so he picked up his glaive and went out there, and the person he ended up challenging was a man you may have some of you may have heard of, his name was Shuka, Shuka the Guardian, um, which I believe is old Celtic for a very silly man. <laughs> <laughs> and they walk out there and uh, Ian, being formal, says, all right, bow to each other, bow to the crown, bury you any offensive steel, all right, lay on. And the two of them pretended to whack each other once or twice and killed each other simultaneously. Apparently this happened a lot with slaves. I'm not sure exactly why. Uh, anyway, all right, go to the back of the line. Now remember I mentioned that Shuka was um, a rather silly person and apparently in his armor bag he had a dummy hand grenade. So takes the grenade, he sticks it inside of his breastplate, and when the two of them step up for a rematch, Ian goes, bear you any offensive, uh, and uh, Mikhail shakes his head, and Shuka looks thoughtful, reaches into his armor, hands the marshal the hand grenade, <laughs> <laughs> who looks at it sort of cross-eyed and says, anything else? <laughs> uh, no, that's it. All right. You two, lay on. Whackety whack, they killed each other again. <laughs> Back of the line. So, while all this is going on, uh, sitting at the head table conversing was our nice brand new Baron, who was Baron Dougal, hmm. and the King of the Middle. Back then we were still in the Middle Kingdom, who I believe his name was Laurel. Um, so, our two main characters get up to the front of the line again, and Ian steps out and goes, Bury you any offensive? He looks over at Shuka and goes, Wait a minute, I remember you. And knowing that Shuka is an ex cop, says, All right, you. Hands against the wall, spread your legs, and proceeds to pat him down thoroughly. <laughs> And this being done, Shuka looks at, at Ian and said, points over to, to Mikhail and says, what about him? And Ian says, you're right, you need to be fair about this. Okay, you, up against the wall, spread your legs. Goes through it again. There, are we done now? And Mikhail and Shuka look at each other and literally, without a word, they grab the marshal, put him up <laughs> against the wall, <laughs> and start patting him down. And at this point, probably attracted by all of the chuckling going on in the line of fighters waiting uh, to get onto the list field. Mm. Woo. Right. I'm not getting mosquitoed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Laura Lynn looks up, sees what's going on, sees two large men in armor patting down the marshal up against the wall, <laughs> turns to Baron Dougal and says, um, Your Grace, I am a visitor in, in your barony, and as such, I understand I may not be familiar with all of your local customs. Would you mind describing to me what they're doing? And Dougal, without cracking a smile, says, of course, your majesty, they're searching for hand grenades. <laughs> because he was paying attention earlier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and... and Laurelin thinks for a moment, looks back at Dougal and says, Your Grace, 
perhaps it is best if we simply assume I did not ask. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know who actually finally won the final round. Somebody did. But that is now the famous Care Ant hand grenade story. I was there, it happened. <laughs>